I got into swimming when I was five years old and my parents put me into swim lessons and ever since then I have just continued with the sport, progressing through all the age groups um, until 12 years later. <laughs> Um, when Elise was little, my husband and I, um, we had said to her, you know, you're not going to sit around and play video games all day. We want you to find something, an activity to get involved in. Um, when I was little, I played soccer and softball, so of course I wanted her to play those sports. My husband was a great tennis player, so he wanted her to play tennis. Um, but she said, no, I want to swim. And so it, it was kind of the beginning of, of forever. Um, we had no idea how great she would be in this sport, um, but we were glad that, that she found her path and that she's become so good at it. Well, it's, kind of, it's been kind of fun with her because she actually started with us when she was very, very small, went through our swim lessons and then joined the swim team and then moved through the different levels of our program. So she is, you know, a Marlin through and through very beginning to where she is now. So it's been great to be able to see her progress to that level. Elise is a very dedicated person. Um, she's a hard worker, very goal oriented, um, extremely humble in her success. Um, and she's a very good student and a very good friend. Uh, her work ethic is very good. She works very hard for what she's trying to do uh, and what she's trying to accomplish. Uh, the good thing about her is that when she comes in every day, you know you're going to get pretty close to 100% effort. Uh, one of the things that I tell the kids, two things I tell the kids here is if what you did yesterday looks good today, you're standing still and she doesn't like to stand still of anything. Uh, so that, uh, that is a very good uh, point with her. Swimming has impacted Elise's life in so many ways, um, obviously very positively. Um, that goes back to making her a very dedicated person. It's made her very dedicated, um, made her a very hard worker. It's taught her time management, um, uh, skills, patience, um, and determination um, and a competitive nature, but mostly I would say it has taught her how to be humble in her success. I think swimming has taught me many things, um, one of those being time management, especially with school and what I can and cannot do with my free time. Um, there's only so much of it and with high school being above swimming, I need to figure out my priorities. The thing I like most about watching Elise swim is um, watching her set her goals and go after them. Um, Elise is very goal oriented. She's very dedicated to her sport. And when she gets a goal um, in her head, she goes after it with everything that she has. So that's very exciting to watch. A couple accomplishments for me. Um, I made my two Olympic trial cuts last summer and I also am a part of the national junior team and represent Team USA. Elise Bauer trying to break away. 16 year old from Central Florida Marlins. And Bauer closing the door on this field and winning it easily, Bauer in 418.25, a great last 50 by the 16 year old, home in 31.6. Um, I do plan to swim after high school. I'm going to the University of Florida to swim for the next four years. Um, I hope to get better each year and maybe even help lead the team to an SEC championship. 
Um, we are very excited to see Elise go to the University of Florida. Um, as parents, it's great to know that your kid's going to be 45 minutes away and that we will be able to um, go watch her swim um, at most of her meets. Um, we're excited to see where this next team takes her. The coaching up there is phenomenal. The team is, is one of the best in the country. Um, so we are very um, happy and excited to, to watch her swim at the university. It, it's great to see her go there. It's a perfect school for her. Uh, if she wants to get better, it's all in her hands to get better because they have the tools up there for her to get a lot better. Uh, it's just all if she wants to, you know, if she wants to pay that price because swimming in a true Division I school, that's a Florida, a Georgia, a Texas, that's true Division I. You have to really work and that is a school that can take you to the next level if you want to go there.